Hey kids, it's Math here. I've got my second unit cell calc video for you here. Now in the last video, what we did was we went and calculated the density. I wanna go back and make sure I tell you this correctly. But in the last problem, we were given how it bonded, how it was put together in a face-centered cubic arrangement. We were given the radius and we were asked the density. Now here's the second problem in this one. We're being given chromium. So we know what it is. That tells me a little bit. That tells me that the molar mass of chromium is going to be 52 grams per mole. I'm gonna need that a little bit later. It tells me it's in a unit cell and the length of that unit cell L is 288.5 picometers. You gotta love these problems. There, there's always a conversion twist, but no harm, no foul. We can get from picometers to centimeters. And why do we need to get to centimeters? Because our density is going to be given to us in grams per centimeter cubed. What the question's asking us is, what type of unit cell is this? It's a fancy way of coming around and saying, how many atoms are in this unit cell? Your choice is one, two, or four. Let's calculate it out. And hopefully we get one of those answers and it'll either be simple body or face centered cubic. So first thing I wanna do, let's deal with that picometers because I just can't get rid of that quick enough. 288.5 picometers. Drag that out. There's 10 to the minus 12th, excuse me, 10 to the positive 12th picometers in one meter, and one meter has 100 centimeters. So munch them, crunch them, I get a length of my unit cell as 2.885 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters. That's going to be L. But remember, we've got density. So to get rid of this density and get a mass, I've got to get volume from my L. Simple cubic, or not simple cubic, but cubic unit cell. So I know that V equals L cubed. That's for all cubes. So 288, 5, 10 to the negative eighth centimeters, Cubit, pretty common. Going to get 2.4, 10 to the negative 23rd centimeters cubed. Both of these answers are relatively common that you would have a length 10 to the minus eighth and you would have a volume of 10 to the minus 23rd. Okay, so it's okay to look at something very similar to those numbers. Now, what we can do is use that volume. 2.4, 10 to the negative 23rd. It's not very large, but doesn't need to be. It's not going to weigh very much for us now. Take that and know that it's 7.20 grams per centimeter cubed. That's the density of chromium that was given in the problem. So this is going to get us from volume to mass, 1.73 times 10 to the negative 22nd grams. Now all I have to do is take grams to moles, moles to atoms, and figure out whether we have a simple, a body, or a face-centered cubic. Should be pretty easy from here on out. So 173, 10 to the negative 22nd, that's grams of chromium. Chromium has a molar mass of 52 grams per mole. And one mole, 6.02, 10 to the 23rd, positive 23rd atoms. If I crunch that out, look at that, two atoms, how sweet. So that tells us 
we've got a body-centered cubic arrangement for chromium. There's no way to look at the periodic table and tell this. I wish there was a way we could say, oh, well, it's chromium. It's in this location. So that tells me it's going to be body-centered cubic or face-centered cubic. There's just no way of knowing without doing these types of calculations. But really all we did, very simple. This top part was just a unit conversion to get me to centimeters. Then length to volume. Volume times density equals mass mass to moles. It's not a very complicated problem once you break it down into the simplest of steps. So that's unit cell conversion problem number two. I think between the first problem with nickel and this problem with chromium, you guys should be able to solve quite a few unit cell calcs and be okay with this. And I'm Smath. I hope this video helped you.